Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. The time has come. It is time to go to England. I'm so excited. Much to maybe your surprise, I did actually get it cleaned up in here. This is um, a far cry from what it was four hours ago. I'll have this stuff, which like I need to like launder and put away. And then the rest of this is stuff I'm taking with me. So I definitely overpacked for this trip. We're gonna be gone for technically eight days, but we're only gonna be there for seven. So I have my carry-on, my personal item. Those are going with me on the plane. They'll be like under the seat. Um, Cause that has like all my electronics and stuff in it. And then we have <laughs> two suitcases. You guys saw me buy this other suitcase in the last vlog and like I'm just not gonna stress myself out so I'm honestly just gonna overpack. Got my sweatshirt. I just tanned. I'm gonna zip this up and then we're gonna head to the airport and I'm sad. I'm sad to be leaving my little family but I'm so excited for this trip so let's do it. Yes. Works every time. to the airport my face is so red because of my mask but cheers I'm having a cheeky glass of wine before the flight <laughs> delicious I have about four minutes to chug this down so uh, wish me luck and we'll see you on the plane Like, 
that's Harry Potter. Yeah. So many hours later, we got to our hotel. Here she is. It's actually really cute in here. And they have these beds pushed together. So, you know, slumber party vibes. <laughs> and then we have a little TV area. We have a seating area where Alexa is sitting. Here is the bathroom. It's got everything you need. It's got a tub, it's got a fancy toilet. And now we are going to go, I'm literally going out like this. Like I do not care. We're gonna go out to either Wagamama or maybe Nando's or something else, get some dinner, come back here, shower, relax, and like literally go to bed. It's been a long one. You know, if you've traveled long distances, it is definitely like physically and mentally exhausting. And I think I slept one hour last night, but ugh, so happy to be here. Yes, we are out in our essentially pajamas. I, I literally going packed, to get dinner. I packed like a second outfit for what I could wear after the flight. I did. Like, no. I did too. I, I had no. packed my makeup bag in my carry-on because I thought I was gonna put makeup on. Absolutely not. But we're going to Wagamama because now it's sort of a tradition, isn't it? <gasps> There's a Greg's. <laughs> that was so embarrassing in American. Yeah. I've seen so many Greg's sausage rolls on TikTok. And it was on my list of things that I wanted to try when I was here, and it's right freaking there. Fantastic. Tourist level 100. Ah, oh, it's like I never left. Katsu curry, loving life. Alright everyone, happy to say we made it. It is 8.59 p.m. We are actually just waiting to hear back from the front desk on whether or not they have fans <laughs> for the rooms because we have the air conditioning on full blast and it's literally like as if the air conditioning is going. Like that's the air conditioning blowing on full blast and i'm sorry but we're just american but anyways i am going to call drew really quick and just tuck in hopefully get some really good sleep tonight fingers crossed i'm so delirious i'm so tired we just finished eating ice cream bars that we randomly picked up at tesco on the way home we also discovered like an entire separate part of our room that we didn't even know existed we have a cute little like coffee and tea area with a safe and then also a mini fridge with like a mini bar in it How exciting and then also this section with a bunch of robes and some like luggage racks so we used those as well we were just sitting here talking and like going over the day and just sharing our thoughts and stuff and we're like i can't believe we're here like i can't believe we're back it's so exciting london is such a freaking cool place if you ever get the chance to go i would highly recommend it but i'm gonna head to bed and we will check in with you tomorrow good night Good morning everybody from London. Uh, it feels so good to say that. We have just gotten up and gotten ready. I actually, well I woke up in the middle of the night but I slept in until 8.30 so that was a pretty iconic morning. And Alexa actually slept in until like almost 8.30 so could have been bad. I woke up after four hours and I was like no 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 need more sleep and then we did it. So here we are. We're actually just getting ready to head out right now on a day of like thrifting, vintage shopping. We're like determined to have a good experience here and we got some good stuff last time. Yeah I got my favorite crew neck ever so there we go so hopefully that's in the cards for us today we're gonna go to like the shepherd's bush area mm -hmm. of london mm -hmm. i've never been there before you've never been there before so we're gonna like check it out see what's up i wanted to show you my cute outfit of the day also if these socks are ugly alexa said i'm allowed to blame it on okay. her because <laughs> i actually really like it too but i'll just show you hold on fit check okay here's the fit so this is so dramatic <laughs> Is this better? Um, this sweater, actually this entire outfit is thrifted. I got these cute loafers on with these socks. It does feel kind of like 1990s in a way. It also feels kind of Michael Jackson, so I don't know how I feel about it, but whatever, we're going with it. Yeah, both of these are thrifted. I got this from like a Savers, this is from Thread Up, and that's my fit. You wanna show yours? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't know if I was in the corner, I was just like, uh, <laughs> You're just watching. Cute. Okay, we have shiny pants. 
Love those. Made by Jenna. Jenna. Yes. So amazing, so amazing. These are also from Thread Up. Thread Up Girl. Girl your night. Baby T from Depop. Woo! Uh, boots from like 2018. Yay! <laughs> Let's go thrifting. I'll probably not be able to vlog as much because you know I can't do more than one thing at a time. So we're gonna um, try our best today. But yeah, oh, I'm so excited. First stop though, we gotta get coffee. a coffee. Coffee. Later, we just left meeting up with Ruby. Her Instagram is called Pose and Repeat. I had never met her before, but she's lovely. And she showed us around. We went and got coffee, just kind of like popped into a few vintage shops. And now we're outside of the Notting Hill bookshop, which if you know, if you've seen Notting Hill, is the bookshop that Hugh Grant owned in the film. And it's so cute in there. We just took like a browse around and then I took a few photos for Drew and I'm just so happy. I love Notting Hill so much. I wanna move here. What's new? Now I think we're gonna just like pop into a few more shops if there are any that are open and then like see what we get up to the rest of the evening. But it's already like 5.20 and is it bad that I'm still proud of us for like staying awake and keeping going? Cause the reason I kind of stopped filming for a while is cause we hit a wall bad. Yeah, like the jet lag set needed. in, yeah. yeah. But we got some coffee and it was delicious and we're feeling great. So let's keep going. All right, we're back at the hotel after a nice full long day. I did a terrible job at vlogging today, but honestly, I'm way more focused on like enjoying my time here and being in the moment than I am vlogging. You understand. I don't need to explain that, but um, I do have a quick story time because I stole this bag. Yes, I did on accident. And then I went back and paid for it, but I think I even like vlogged before we went to the bookstore. And essentially we were walking around the bookstore and I was like, oh, it's so cute in here. I kind of want to buy something, but I didn't really want to buy a book because I'm like a Kindle girly now. So I have too many physical books that I need to get through. So then I saw these tote bags and I was like, this tote bag is so cute. Alexa helped me pick it out. And then I like had it on my arm and we were kind of walking around and then like my ADHD kicked in and I was truly not paying attention. And I ran out the door, not ran, but like walked briskly out the door because people were standing outside of the shop, like taking photos. So I just was like trying to get out of their way and wasn't even thinking about it. We were standing there talking. Alexa was filming a thing for her video. And all of a sudden I looked down and I was like, and it was probably two minutes later, but I immediately was like, what do I do? I have to go back. So I just ran back <laughs> into the store frantically with like telling the shop owner, or whoever it was, I was like, I am so sorry. I walked out with this bag. I didn't mean to, but like, I need to pay for it. And like, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was so distracted. And she was just like, all right. Like she didn't care at all. She was so, so sweet about it. But yeah, very nice. And yeah, I did go back and purchase this bag. I felt horrible about it, but. Yeah, that was my first time I've ever stolen anything, I can confidently say, and I would not recommend it. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. But anyways, got a few good thrifted things today too. So I think I'm gonna like combine the footage from today and potentially do a little bit more um, thrifting in a few days. So yeah, 
it was a good long day so now we're kind of trying to decide what we want to do for dinner we don't we were gonna look into room service but all they have on the tv is a breakfast menu so i think that's all they have but there is like a little kind of place to get drinks downstairs and there's tons of places in the area so that's going to be the next plan of action is getting some dinner it's already like seven o'clock so we're doing great like i'm so proud of us today we got around london by ourselves that i mean who would have thought not me <laughs> i felt very girl boss today i was like yeah i can go to another country and find my way around. We put our heads together and we got it done. So yeah, we're gonna get some dinner and I will probably check in with you tomorrow. And tomorrow's gonna be another full day in London. And then we're heading back to Jasmine's and I'm so excited to reunite. And hopefully tonight will be just as good of a night of sleep. Fingers crossed.